In the high-stakes arena of American politics, the vice presidential debate often serves as a crucial battleground where competing visions for the nation's future clash. Democratic Governor Tim Walz of Minnesota and Republican Senator J.D. Vance of Ohio took center stage in a heated face-off that laid bare the stark differences between their respective tickets. With just over a month until Election Day, this debate wasn't just a war of words, it was a collision of ideologies that touched on everything from the economy and healthcare to immigration and the very foundations of American democracy. As the only vice presidential debate of this election cycle, it offered voters a unique opportunity to see beyond the presidential candidates and evaluate the potential second-in-command. What unfolded was a night of sharp exchanges, policy deep dives, and revealing moments that could shape the course of this tightly contested race. In the next few minutes, we'll break down the key moments of this debate, here are the key highlights from the vice presidential debate. Foreign policy. Both candidates addressed Iran's recent attack on Israel. Walls emphasized steady leadership and coalition building. Vance criticized the current administration's approach, praising Trump's peace through strength strategy. Economy. Walls defended the Biden-Harris administration's economic policies and investments. Vance criticized current inflation and cost of living increases, praising Trump's economic record. They clashed over tax policies and approaches to job creation. Immigration. Vance strongly criticized the current administration's border policies, calling for stricter enforcement. Walls defended the administration's approach and emphasized the need for comprehensive reform. They disagreed on the impact of immigration on housing and the economy. Healthcare. Walls defended and advocated for expanding the Affordable Care Act. Vance criticized the ACA but struggled to clearly articulate Trump's healthcare plan. Gun control. Walls supported enhanced background checks and red flag laws. Vance emphasized mental health issues and increased school security. Housing. Both acknowledged the housing crisis but proposed different solutions. Walls supported government assistance for homebuyers. Vance emphasized deregulation and criticized immigration's impact on housing. Childcare and family leave. Both supported some form of assistance for families but differed on implementation. Walls advocated for a federal paid leave program. Vance supported tax credits and more flexible options. Democracy and 2020 election. Walls strongly defended the 2020 election results and criticized attempts to overturn them. Vance avoided directly stating whether Trump lost the 2020 election, instead focusing on alleged censorship issues. Closing statements. Walls emphasized optimism, inclusivity, and Harris' vision for the future. Vance focused on economic struggles under the current administration and called for change. Throughout the debate, Walls consistently aligned with and defended Biden-Harris policies, while Vance aligned with Trump and criticized the current administration. The debate highlighted significant policy differences between the two campaigns on most major issues. Here are the key words in the debate. There are multiple full video at YouTube. We choose the video under MSNBC. There are over 10 million views of the video with over 1067 comments. We also ask AI to summarize the comments under the video. Here is AI's analysis. Based on my analysis of the comments, here are some key observations. 1. Polarization. There is a clear divide between supporters of Vance and Walls, with many commenters expressing strong partisan views. 2. Criticism of moderators. Many comments criticize the moderators for perceived bias, particularly against Vance. Some accuse them of unfairly fact-checking or interrupting Vance. 3. Debate performance, opinions on who, won, the debate are split, with supporters of each candidate claiming their preferred candidate performed better. 4. Focus on specific moments, several comments reference particular timestamps or moments from the debate that stood out to viewers. 5. Discussion of policy issues, while some comments touch on policy topics like immigration, healthcare, and the economy, many focus more on debate performance and perceived bias. 6. Comparisons to other debates. Some commenters compared this debate favorably to previous presidential debates in terms of civility. 7. Criticism of candidates. Both candidates face criticism, with some accusing Vance of lying or changing positions, and others criticizing Walz's nervous demeanor or responses. 8. References to Trump and Harris. Many comments mention the presidential candidates, with some wishing these VP candidates were at the top of the ticket instead. 9. Calls for voting. Several comments urge others to vote for their preferred candidate ticket. 10. Trolling and low-quality comments. There are a number of short, inflammatory comments as well as apparent spam or bot-like activity. 
11. Format critiques. Some viewers expressed frustration with debate rules, time limits, and the inability of candidates to directly question each other. This analysis reflects the diverse and often conflicting viewpoints expressed in the comments section, highlighting the contentious nature of the debate and broader political discourse. Since AI identified some highlight moments, I ask AI to give examples. Here are some examples of comments that highlight specific moments or timestamps from the debate. 1. One user pointed out a moment at 37 minute 1 second, saying. Tim dug his on grave at 37 minute 1 second. 2. Another commenter referenced a specific time. 28 minute 28 second we heard him, we just know you don't like to hear the truth which is why you cut his mic. This appears to be referencing a moment when Vance's microphone was cut off. 3. A user highlighted Vance's response to a gun control question. At 56 minute 22 second where do you think the cartels get the guns from? Mexico has a strict gun owning policy. Quote. 4. One comment focused on Walls's use of a particular word. Walls, fundamental. 5. Another user pointed out what they perceived as a discrepancy in the broadcast. Was just watching CNN's recording, and at 1 hour 18 minute 2 second they literally clip out some of what Tampon Tim says. Quote. 6. A commenter highlighted a moment related to fact-checking. 27 minute 40 second they tried good job JD. These examples show how viewers were paying close attention to specific moments in the debate, often using them to support their views on the candidates' performances or to criticize the moderation of the debate. Finally I asked AI to provide favorite comments. Here are a few noteworthy comments. 1. These two activists. Ugh. This concise comment captures the frustration some viewers felt with the moderators. 2. I'd rather these two guys run the country simultaneously than either of our candidates. This comment reflects a sentiment shared by several viewers who were more impressed by the VP candidates than the presidential candidates. 3. Wish these two were at the top of the ticket. Similar to the previous comment, this reflects a desire for different leadership options. 4. As someone on the fence, seeing how these moderators continued the bias, even if not like the last debate, makes me lean towards J.D. Vance. As someone whose parents live in Springfield, J.D. Vance correctly corrected the damn moderator. Thank you for nudging me off the fence of undecided. Quote, this comment shows how the debate and its moderation potentially influenced an undecided voter. 5. A very civil debate. This simple comment stands out for its positive tone amidst many critical remarks. 6. Remember when Vance started talking about illegals being able to vote by filling out a CBP1 app and CBS cut his mic? This comment highlights a specific moment that resonated with many viewers and sparked discussion about debate moderation. 7. Both did good and I don't side with none but rules are rules so yep. Moderators should be warned. This balanced comment acknowledges good performance from both candidates while also criticizing the moderators. These comments represent a range of perspectives and reactions to the debate, showcasing the diversity of viewer opinions. Hey everyone, don't miss out on our latest videos. Hit that subscribe button and join our awesome community. Your support means the world to us and helps us bring you even more amazing content. Thanks for watching and subscribing.